So courage, um, if you think about it, we need it. We need it in life to move us forward, all right? You can have goals and you can have dreams, but if we don't have the courage to, to take action, then we're kind of stuck. We can change that. We can bring and improve our confidence, all right? Just like, just like going to the gym, all right? And actually, <laughs> going to the gym is showing courage. Spe depends on who you are. For example, uh, years ago, I was always uh, active in policing and, and kickboxing and martial arts and, and, and just active with dogs and volunteering my time. You know, thought I was bulletproof and invincible and there's certain things I've been in situations where I probably shouldn't be alive right now. But then about seven, six or seven time flies. Years ago, I got Crohn's disease and it was fast and furious. And I mean, I had to have emergency surgery. I had an ostomy bag and it was pretty traumatic. So it, it affected me in a way. But when I was trying to get back on my feet at a certain period of time, I, I didn't have the confidence. I, I just couldn't go to the gym. I was desired to go to the gym. I knew how to work. I knew, and I had gained, I was up to 300 pounds. I really lacked confidence and courage. And I was really scared that my, my guts were just gonna open up and explode. I've seen traumatic things and, and that's what I was afraid of. So I didn't have the confidence to move forward in my health. And I was held and I was stuck. So if we don't have that, all right, so it's just kind of like going to the gym. You make that decision, if you don't take action on it, it actually makes it worse for us, you know what I mean? You get So when we do take that action, all right, it's scary. Even you're not sure what to expect, but I'll tell you what, when you decide to go there, you end up getting a little bit stronger each time if you do it right, and your confidence builds, all right? So one of the things I find is increasing your skill level is very important when we have a goal and we're not confident to, to do it right because i mean you guys you gotta think you learn something for example dog training genesis you're learning a lot there's a lot in there you know, professional trainers go through this and it takes you know it takes a little bit of time to, to learn but then it's to apply it and if we're not confident in that aspect and sometimes that holds us back right and that's that's what the, this is for um so it's really important because you can have some skills. Now we practice in the house. This is another thing. And we get some confidence, right? Maybe some of you can, can say, yeah, I've been that. I wasn't sure what to expect it. I started the process. Oh my gosh, my, my dog's actually transforming or whatever it is you're doing, but it's in the house. So now it's a matter of, yeah, it's easy in the house. Now we need to take it outside. And we're like, Ugh. maybe it's us that lacks that confidence or we're not, where maybe we're sometimes overconfident and everything falls on its face too, right? So that's another a danger. But increasing your skill level is important because it happens when you're increasing skill, it's word competency, all right? So it's kind of like showing up, having a little bit of a understanding of, okay, I'm just gonna do it, all right? I'm gonna crush this fear and I'm just gonna do something to move forward. Because when you do that, even that one thing, even just showing up, just by you guys being here, if somebody's like struggling with confidence in the dog to take it outside, this is confidence, showing confidence, just by being here to learn to step up. That's a great thing. So don't wait for a reason, in a sense. You have goals, you know, you have dreams, you have visions, whether it's for your dog, whether it's other aspects. This can go anywhere, right? For your finances, your relationships, and your business, your health, your hobbies, whatever. So if you're waiting, confidence isn't something that usually just comes. We get it, we have to grow it. We have to kind of say, well, okay, how do I get this? The first thing that I tell people, and this is just a little bit ways that I deal with it, give yourself permission. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but set the intention and then give yourself permission to say, I'm just gonna be more confident because I'm stuck and I'm either going to quit, okay, so you don't have it, it's like being stuck in the mud. Give yourself permission, set the intention, and just do it. I know you, that's it's a big statement and I know how hard that is. I have done it. <laughs> that's taking a step forward to crush that fear, all right? Now, how do we do that? Know who you are and kind of know what you want, all right? When you know who you are, I know who I am and I know where I came from. So you have those values, you've got to get some belief again and say, all right, I know who I am, I know where I have been, I'm going to take that into consideration, all right? And then going forward, it's uncomfortable. Sometimes it is uncomfortable. Sometimes you're gonna be, a, you know, we seek that comfort. So that's why maybe we're staying in the comforts of our own home or not pushing the envelope. 
because of distractions or stuff with a dog or whatever it is. Maybe you're avoiding a conversation that you need to have with someone that's, that, that's been, you've been procrastinating or you just haven't been taking action on it and it's there and you still have to have that convo and now you may be losing sleep on it, whatever, right? So knowing who you are helps you be able to say to yourself, all right, I'm just gonna know who I am and where I came from your life a lot of us look to credentials i don't have the credentials i can't do that i don't have the certification or the course i don't do that my experience is being a father i never took a course in that and i couldn't believe that we had a baby to figure out somebody allowed me to raise something <laughs> other than dogs <laughs> so don't wait for credentials don't 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 stress about that stuff you, you have to learn life is learning think of that what you've learned already and what you've been through already in life, you kind of a lot of times already know the answers. It's just not there. It's kind of in, in the back, right? You're not thinking about it. All right, so by knowing who you are and knowing what you want and then decide you're just gonna go do it, you're gonna crush that fear. There's a thing called being comfortable or trying to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. And I'm not saying like really push the envelope too quick and too soon, but if there's something that's going to push your comfort zone a little bit, just a little bit, do that. It's intentional and strategic if that's going to move you forward. For example, it's by me showing up to the gym that day. I cannot tell people the emotional effect, right? I ended up, I, I, I have diagnosed PTSD, so that's one thing I had to overcome, and I did it. When you do it, you get a little momentum. You're not back and forth, back and forth in that stuck in the mud anymore, which is frustrating. You are going forward and just that one step can help you gain that momentum okay and that momentum will help you bring more confidence all right never forget life is our teacher and you can't avoid it and sometimes life is not fair and when we, it's us when we look to the dog when we can build a little bit more confidence and have a little bit more intention and have some clarity on what we want what we're gonna do if it's with our dog now we can help the dog overcome their stuff, not 